Okay, hello everyone. We, uh, welcome to a new lecture. We are going to learn about short circuits. A short circuit is an electrical circuit that allows the current to travel along an unintended path with no or a very low electrical resistance. When you have a short circuit, you have a lot of amps. That's when the electrical current is the highest. Uh, the electrical current gets very high and so the conductors are going to melt down because you have a lot of amps. A lot of amps, a lot of heat, Joule's law and you know that's a problem. So for example we here you have electrical circuit. We have a battery of 24 volts. We don't have any receiver. We don't have any uh, consumer of electrical energy or we only have this conductor that has a resistance of uh, 0.02 ohms. So what is the electrical current, what is the amount of electrical current that we are going to have? That's by Ohm's law, uh, 24 volts divided by 0.02 ohms and that is going to be uh, 1200 amps. So you're going to have 1200 amps going through this uh, conductor and that's very dangerous because the conductor is going to melt down so you, in, like in your house and that's a you know, real problem you can burn your house you know, fortunately so uh, let's do one more example uh, let me just take my book and you know I'm gonna show you how you can uh, Uh, what, what, what's the word? How, how can you, you know, set the situation, you know, for this, when you have a short circuit. For example, here we have, here we have, uh, I don't know, a generator that gives you, I don't know, 220 volts. So here you have plus and you have minus. Okay, now you have here a light bulb uh, that has a resistance of 400 ohms. You, ha uh, you have a resistance of a conductor that's 1 ohm. And here you have a current passing through. So the current is going to be uh, I equals U divided by R1. R1 plus R2. So let's say that the uh, resistance of a conductor is 1 ohm and a resistance of this light bulb is R2. Now you have 220 volts divided by 401 ohms. Uh, and that is just a second. Zero. 0.548 amps. So you're gonna have you're gonna have a current uh, going through this electrical circuit that is equal to 0.548 amps. That's okay. No, not, not no problem. Uh, uh, your house is safe. But what happens if this Light bulb breaks. You also uh, electrical. Uh, you also always saw that the light bulb breaks. So when this light bulb breaks, there is no there, uh, there is no resistance in this light bulb, and so the current will flow through this light bulb only on its conductors without this resistance R two. So now you have a situation that the current is going to be U divided by R1 and that's 220 volts divided by 1 ohm and now you're going to have 220 amps going through your uh, house and this conductor is not going to light that and it's going to melt down. So what is the problem here? You're going to have Mail dark, probably burn your house and so on. Now, 
when you have in a short circuit, you, you have a fuse or a circuit breaker. What is a fuse? That's a device, fuse, here, here, and it has metal conductors, and if it gets too hot, and if it gets too hot, or it uh, goes through that, I don't know, five, six amps, this is gonna uh, burn out. So we put a fuse here. So if you, and I don't know, it's, I don't know how do you, uh, how, how, it, how does it look, you know, in electrical circuits we don't uh, use them much. So it can only provide, it can only provide uh, through itself 5 amps. So if you have more than 5 amps going to this fuse, it all depends on which kind of fuse you want. And in which kind of electrical circuit do you use the fuse. If it goes uh, 5 amps through here, it's going to melt down. So you only have this fuse that melts down. So you will have an open... So this fuse uh, now is going to burn out. And now you're here, you're, you are going to have here an open circuit. If you have an open circuit, you won't have any... Uh, you won't have current going through this uh, circuit and then you save your house, you, see, you don't have uh, fire in your house and it's easy to repair another fuse, it's, it's really cheap. So the fuse, if, it, uh, go, if you have a lot of currents going through the fuse, you can, uh, uh, you can you know, surf on the internet and see how a fuse looks like. It's uh, kind of, you know, cylindrical metal, it go, the current goes through it, but if it gets too hot, it's gonna, you know, melt down, and uh, only in that area, you will have uh, a meltdown. So if you have only here meltdown, that's good, you won't have a, me a meltdown through these conductors, and, you know, you save your house. And it's really cheap to get another fuse. But you now have a circuit breaker, that's a box, and that looks like a box, you can also saw that. And if it gets too hot, uh, the, okay, now, even through this circuit breaker, if it gets too hot, it also depends how many amps, how many resistance, and all, so on, and so on, this, uh, this, is gonna uh, make the switch go up and see uh, 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 it, it's usually like a switch and if it gets too hot this conductor is gonna get up it's gonna uh, open up and here you have an open circuit so also you won't have a current flowing to this circuit and you won't have current and also you saved your house so if you want to say uh, your house with short with short circuits from short circuits you buy a fuse or you buy a circuit breaker circuit breaker for me is better and also it's expensive but you know it's easier to uh, find where is a sh short circuit in your house when you have electrical uh, where you have circuit break breakers then fuses okay so that's about uh, all for this lecture. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in my next video.